Hello, I'm Craig Bryant, and today we're going to be looking at trick serves. Now, these aren't going to be trick serves just for the sake of showing off. We're going to be looking at three trick serves that I use in my competitive match play, and I use the tricks as a little bit of deception from time to time. They're not serves that I use all of the time. I tend to use them as a little bit of a surprise, um, and they're great for when I'm stuck in a little bit of a rut and I need to change the rhythm or I feel like my play has been a little bit too predictable and I can throw in something a little bit different which can just throw off the concentration of your opponent um, and then you can often go back to the tactics that you were trying to adopt afterwards. So you don't have to master all of these but there might be one that you find easier than the other. If that's the case then take that information on board and can you go away and practice and, and perfect that. Okay, the fake reverse serve is a slight variation of the reverse serve. So the reverse serve is where we're coming around the outside of the ball, you know, using our wrist in this quite extreme position. And the bat is moving away from our body you know, to create this rotation from here. And the ball's going to be moving this way. Okay, so that's the basic reverse serve. Um, that we're going to use to begin with before we add in the fake movement. Okay, so here's the reverse serve to begin with. Okay, so the first movement is this side of the ball. As I'm coming through, I'm striking the ball here. And then my bat ends up around the outside, yeah, as, I, as I'm looking at it to the right of the ball. I need to use this information when I'm trying to do the fake reverse. So instead of contacting here, I want to be contacting on this side. But I'm also using this preparation part of the serve to create the spin. So from here, so as my back goes back into this reverse position, that's when I'm making contact and then I'm making a move afterwards. So the first thing to practice is just this little touch here where we're just brushing up the back of the ball. And the more subtle and shorter we can keep that movement, the more effective that serve will be. Step two is the finish. So it's making sure once we've made this contact that we end up around the outside of the ball or underneath the ball. But either way, you want the bat, as I'm looking at it, to the right side of the ball. Okay, if I'm contacting here and I end up to the left side of the ball, they're going to see that that's what's been my first movement. So it's creating this little movement and then trying to move around in the opposite way. Again, you can see there, the smaller the movement it is, the more effective that serve is. If my movement is too big, I get more effect, but it's very hard to disguise what I've done. So the smaller that movement, the more effective it can be. Okay, so break it down into those two parts. Can you work on this short little movement here first? And then you're trying to work on that follow through afterwards to kind of create that bit of a snake effect. Okay, the next serve is going to be the fake backhand serve. So once again, we have a serve to start with as a bit of a base. Um, and then we're going to try and build the deception into that. Okay, so my backhand serve that I'm going to be using here, I'm going to stand a little bit more uh, to the right of the table. And I'm going to turn a little bit more side on. And that will become apparent in a second. 
I tend to adopt this position anyway for my backhand serve and I can use this space behind me just to create a little bit more momentum, a little bit more backswing. So this is my backhand serve, first of all. So that's what I'm trying to use. I might use that once or twice in a match and, and allow my opponent to think that's the serve that I'm going to go for. And once they've got used to that and the direction that I'm serving in, then I'm going to change rather than, rather than contacting here on the black side to just opening my wrist much more and using the forehand rubber to create the angle down the line, which is obviously the complete opposite direction. Okay, so the key here is just trying to get that elbow a little bit higher when you're going for the trick serve. If the elbow's down, then we're reliant here on, on the wrist to do a lot of work. So we're this shape for the backhand serve, and then with the elbow just lifting up a little bit more, that creates a little bit more possibility for me to make contact with the red rubber. And then I'm also wanting to contact as low as I possibly can um, to make that serve a little bit quicker. Yeah, so I'm utilizing the element of surprise, take some time away from my opponent and try to get that one um, nice and long and fast. And then the final serve is the fake pendulum serve. Okay, so once again, my base here is gonna be the pendulum serve across court. I wanna use that and try and bait my opponent into thinking that's the serve that I'm gonna be using. And then I'm gonna make a little bit of a change. So this time I'm going to adopt a position on this side of the table. I've got my bat nice and open, so I'm, all you can see is my edge here. So I'm trying to get the edge of my bat through the ball as much as I can. And get that, move, get that ball moving somewhere off the side. Okay, and, and actually the more I can start like this, the easier it is for me to implement that change, which is going to be using this backhand rubber to go right down the line. I think a common error with this one is people try and really open their bat and they think of it as a pushing the bat right through the back of the ball to create that, that effect. And it's quite difficult to create good quality. My elbow's in quite an awkward position there. So when I think of this, all I'm thinking about is here. I'm keeping my bat in a really similar position to the pendulum. It's only slightly open. And again, I want to catch it as low as I possibly can. And I'm just coming quite a bit around the side of it. If I was to hit that slowly, the ball would probably come off the side and I would miss. But because I'm playing with high speed, there's not so much movement and I can still get the ball um, nice and accurate down the line and the ball will move a little bit to the left, okay? But I find I get a little bit more control thinking about coming around the side of the ball. And actually that keeps then the similarity between the two serves much closer together. If I was, if I was having to do this, so it's often a big signal for my opponent. So just keeping things a little bit more subtle. Okay, so there's three trick serves that you can try. Have a practice, have a play around. It's a bit of fun, but actually it can also be really useful. So can you perfect them to a level where you can get them into your match play? And if you, like anything, if you spend enough time practicing, playing around and experimenting, um, then it's very gratifying when you're able to pull it off uh, in a match. So good luck with it. Have some fun and let me know how you get on. Do you have any trick serves that you use? Do they differ from the ones that I've shown? Let me know in the comments which trick serves you use. 
And finally, before you go, uh, my sponsor, Bri Bar Table Tennis, who supply top quality equipment all over the UK, have now gone worldwide. So you can now pick up Bri Bar equipment from anywhere in the world. Okay, the link is in the description of the video. So if you head to that link, you'll be able to see everything that's on offer from Bri Bar Table Tennis. Okay, thank you for watching and see you at the next one.